Right, is that recording? Yeah. <laughs> Today we've got Sharon, Shreya? Shreya. Shreya. In for our very, very first smoke dry. I'm testing how many hours you've had. 32. She's had 32 hours of, it's been painful, hasn't it? <laughs> A yeah. bit at times, yeah. <laughs> but she's gonna, she's told me she's gonna pass it. She's really confident on you. you? She's good, she sees she shines when the pressure's on. So have you any questions before we start? No. Anything you got this. She's got this. She's going to show you the learners how it's got to be done. So, if you want, I can email you off this if you want at the end, yeah? If you want the email. Okay. You're going to be out for 38 to 40 minutes and you're going to take in various traffic and road conditions. You're going to do one manoeuvre. Which one are you going to do? Reverse into a bay. Because she's really good at this. And then. Um, Possibly the control stop, but you will be driving independent by way of certain other signs for approximately 20 minutes. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Throughout the drive, like you follow the road ahead at all times, unless you're directed by signs and markings, or unless you turn, which you will do some good time. Do you yep. understand that? Mm -hmm. Right, one question. How would you check your head restraint? We would check it if the rigid part is till our year or not. Where? Till our year. So it should at least be till our year, if not higher. In the middle of your head, yeah? Yeah, middle of my head. Go on. Look. Right. Go and show them how it's done, Shreya. So we're going to start with the beer park, okay? Yep. Thank you. Yeah, well done with this Shreya. Um the accuracy is out there by about three or four inches. Um it looks worse than the picture. When you made made your second adjustment, you just left it a bit late. Um I think you should have kept the car room just that little bit slower. Observation is very good. But yeah, it's a pass with no faults recorded, so well done you. Right now we're going to start the independent drive, so if you just like to follow the sun, it will last about 20 minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you just turn right and then left. And then you just follow that sat now. Okay. I'm going to sneeze now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kids. When it's safe to do so, could you show me how you'd open and close your window? You know you drive when you feel like it. Mm. 
minor fault number one, Shreya. You should have um, pulled up two and a half car lengths past this car park on the right-hand side. Um, you do try and pull off in third gear, but you realise straight away and correct the mistake, so I don't give this a, a mark. So, minor fault number one, pulling up too close to the car park on the right-hand side. Fault number one for you, Shreya. Oh, oh Shreya. I, I don't know what you were thinking here. Um, look, this is a closed junction. You can't see properly into both sides of the road. So you should just roll up, put it in the first and stop and take a look right, left, right. Um, about one and a half car lengths back, you take a look to the left. You can see it's clear. But then you start driving out of the junction and there's a van coming from the right and you make me go for the brakes straight away. Now when I did go for the brakes, you went for them also, but Shreya, when I go for brakes, it's last resort. Now the examiner would mark this down as a serious fault and he'd mark on the sheet on the DL25 that he's took physical action. And Shreya, this is only within the first, what, two or three minutes? Very disappointing, Shreya, very disappointed. Just you do what you do with your driving instructor. Right. <sighs> Could you pull up really close to the next park car but leave enough room to move on? Fault number two, Shreya. Um, you, oh, the examiner would just let you scrape the side wall of the tire and, and record a minor fault on the DL25 as um, steering. But I, I don't want you to scrape my tires, that's why I've just scrubbed the wheel a little bit. Shreya, my, my legs are still shaking off that last junction, they're like jelly. Um, come on, get your finger out, you've got another 35 minutes left yet. That would be a fail. It wouldn't be a fail. It wouldn't be that bad. No. No, that there, what you've just done with the curve. That would be a fail. No, I said it would not be a fail. But then that the junction? Drive on when you're ready, please. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, Shrey, I was looking forward to this mock test. I was hoping you were going to crush it. Um, Giving you a minor fault here, it's your third minor fault, is because you do try to pull off in third gear and we do start moving. You're going to burn my clutch out here. Um... So I don't know what we've been doing. All that hard work we've been putting in for 32 hours seems to have gone out the window. Exit. 
see here is fault number two for you, Shreya. Oh. Shreya, you know, there's no signal for turning right at this roundabout. You need to tell other road users what you're doing so they can plan their journey and don't you keep it a secret. Um, had there been nothing on the roundabout, maybe one might have given you a reminder, but there was quite a bit of traffic from in all the exits, so serious fault number two. Signals necessary, Shreya, for turning right. Shreya. Oh. oh Shreya, I just want to go home. Serious fault number three is for straight line the roundabout. You know when you're going straight ahead of the roundabout there's no road margin you normally keep the car to the left, but you just go over to the right lane. Shreya, I just want to go home and cry watching this. Um by the way, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly because it took me thirty two hours to hopefully get this right. When I think about it, my pr pronunciation skills are just as good as your driving skills. Utter tosh. Shreya. Oh. oh Shreya, I'm working with amateurs here. Do you see this blue courser on your right here? Now that's in the right lane. There's no way on earth you can make a decision whether to drive onto this roundabout or not. It could go to where we've just come from, or it could come round the roundabout towards the hospital. And guess what it does? It comes round the roundabout towards the hospital. And you slow the car, car the courser down. I practically stop on the roundabout. Well, she, she did stop actually, and then you go the wrong way around the roundabout. You take the wrong exit, but you've done nothing wrong. You've just gone back round and just come off at the next the correct exits. So nothing wrong with this. But Shreya, look at that courser. You cannot make a decision whether to drive onto the roundabout, and you just drove out in front of it, and the poor woman had to stop on the roundabout. Minor fault number four, Shreya. You should have been looking in this left dormer before you exit this roundabout. You just put the signal on. Had there been something come round the wrong lane, like a motorbike or a car, then I would have most definitely given you a serious fault here. Yeah. Minor fault number five, Shreya. Um, the sat nav said turn left at the roundabout. As soon as I said turn left, you should have looked in mirrors. You don't. You just look at the sat nav and then put the signal on for left. 
So remember the mirror signal manoeuvre routine. As soon as the examiner gives instruction or the sat nav, use your mirrors, see what's behind to the sides. And then when you're ready to signal, just chat them again. the end of the independent drive. Can you pull up the convenient place on the left? Thank you. Leave your driver when you're ready. Minor fault number six, Shreya. Um, look, when the exam stops you at the side of the road, apply the parking brake select neutral cancel signal then he will say thank you drive on when you feel ready you stop the car tell you to drive on when you feel ready and you just put it in first and just look over air uh, look in your right dormer you didn't check your blind spot so mind the fault number six for moving off safely at the roundabout follow the road ahead second exit after 100 yards you have reached your destination on your left Fault number five for you. Oh. Shreya, I'm not sure what you're doing here, but I've said to you as a guideline, if you're going left or straight ahead and there's no road markings, then you keep the car to the left. If you're turning right, you keep the car to the right. Now, I've asked you to turn right, second exit. I'm just wondering whether you've heard second exit and think, well, that's straight ahead, so that should be the left lane. But the golden words were Shreya, Shreya, Shreya. The golden words were turn right at the roundabout so you should have been keeping the right what you do is you go over to the left lane and then you move over to the right you should have been keeping to the right there could have been anybody coming down that left hand side now if you remember you don't see in the video but there was a cyclist coming down that down that where them black and white poles are so you had to be very careful there Dear Shreya, serious fault number six for you. Oh. Shreya, you should not have emerged onto the roundabout here. If you look at this picture, you'll see the blue car. Um, it was too close to you. It was in the right lane. You cannot pull out because that blue car could go and take the exit, which we leave that. But luckily for us, it went round. Now, had it took the exit, we were leaving that you would have pulled out in front of it, then it would have had to brake quite heavy to avoid crashing into you. So you should have just waited till the blue car got past and then emerged out onto the junction.
minor fault number seven Shreya. Um, it's this is a national speed limit road and it's taking you too long to build your speed up. You should have been making a bit more progress than this. Further along, you do get your speed up, so well done, but you, you should have been building up just a bit quicker than this. A bit like an old granny Shreya. Minor fault number eight for you, Shreya. Um, bus lane on the left hand side. You're very lucky you check your middle mirror. How many times have we talked about change when going back to the left lane after the bus lane? How many times have we talked about checking that left door mirror? Had there been a motorbike coming down there um, and you didn't see it and it was going to undertake you, then I would have given you a serious or a dangerous fault. Shreya, I've nearly had to, I've had to grab the wheels when um, pupils have come back to the left after the bus lane because there's no mirror checks and there's been taxis undertaken or motorbikes. So the only thing that saved you here was your middle mirror, but the middle mirror does not tell you what's to the sides of the vehicle. So your left door mirror is the most important one. I would have been having two glances in there. Shame on you, Shreya. Minor fault number nine, Shreya, you didn't check your mirrors to pass this cyclist. You did on the other one, so well done, but you missed them here. You need to check to see if it's safe to move about, just in case somebody's overtaking you like a motorbike. I have seen it happen. I've got to give Shreya a bit crazy. I think on this route, she's had three or four cyclists to deal with, so well done, Shreya. Um, learners would probably feel here for not overtaking when there's enough room or getting too close to the cyclist. But you do everything correctly apart from the mirror checks. A bit praise for you, Ishriya. Um, most pupils would have gone through this light and I would have failed them. You were anticipating these lights changing. So well done. Serious fault number seven for you, Shreya. Oh. Shreya, you are getting sacked in the morning. Um, Yeah, it's an honest mistake. You're just looking at the wrong set of lights. When you have a double set of lights in the side by side, if you go on the left or straight ahead, you normally look at the left. If you turn right, then you look at the right. Um, Honest mistake, but um, I remember one pupil here, Vanya, 
cracking little driver. She had one fault on her sheet and she came back this way and she'd done exactly what you've just done on a driving test. The examiner was absolutely gutted a failure because she knew how skillful she was. But Sue's fault number seven, Shreya, for looking at the wrong set of lights. Try to go try to blow red light. Shreya, I'm going to give you a minor fault here. You got a little bit close to this cyclist. He was only doing about 10 miles an hour. I would have been about one and a half, two car lengths back, just left the centre. You do get a bit close, and I did have a pupil feel for this. Um, I wasn't in on test, but the examiner said you got far too close to the cyclist when following. Um, I didn't think it warranted a serious fault, but if he's only doing about 10, 15 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour, 15 miles per hour. Keep a couple of car lengths back, just left the centre, and then take your gap when it's safe to do so. Minor fault number eleven, Shreya. Um, Shreya, how many time? How much time do we spend on them sharp corners in your early lessons? And you've come to one here, right angle corner. You've got a car approaching from you there, very tight, and you go around in second, nearly stop. Just went went round a bit quick. We should have the roll in first, bit of rise and break, and just go around without stopping. But yeah, minor fault number eleven. Could you pull up on the left, please? While I just cry. <laughs> Take a pull up on the left. <laughs> How many serious ones? Oh dear, I feel sick. Just stop the car, will you? Right, oh dear. You said you were better in silence. Rest them. How many serious? Nine, seven. Seven. Gosh, observations, no signal, normal. <laughs> Was that normal? Normal drive position. Pull out. Pulls over left lane. Right, this one. <laughs> I'm gonna cry as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dear me. Right, you explain the first one to me, because I don't know what you're thinking. Come to the junction. Close junction. Stop. You, 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 what you've done is you could see a little bit here, but you couldn't see much, but it was still a close one. So what you've done is you come, you look left and seen it was clear this side, but you couldn't see them. What did you do? You tried to pull out. Now, what did I do straight away? Stop the car. But what did you do? At the, just as well as I press the brake, what did you do? Press the brake as well. Well, I do, it's last resort, yeah. But what were you thinking? You should have just stopped and put it in the first gear. You couldn't see it. Do you agree? Yeah. And what happened there then? What was going through that big brain of yours? Hmm? Go on, explain. Second serious fault. Turn right that roundabout. There was no signal. Yeah. 
third series fault, which um, which how the blue car goes around the roundabout. You do did do it most of the time to be fair. See how the blue car goes around. Yeah. Yeah. I got got blamed. There was one round about you and can you remember? Oh. Yes? Oh gosh. Next one, this round about here. Um came up me you came up with too fast. Can you remember when I said you need the right lane? And you went the wrong way at the roundabout. Yes? Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah, you went round there, straight ahead was there. Yeah. There was a car here, a courser? And you pulled out in front of it, why? Really? Yeah, really, that the stop on the roundabout. I see that. When I looked, they stopped the car, they were calling you all the names under the sun. Um, this one was a bit strange. Can you remember? It goes over left lane. You what? Yes. Can you remember where you went down the road and there was poles either side to protect the cyclist? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, we were going right, second exit. Okay, so there was no road marks, but where should you keep your car? Right, right lane, we were going right, so... Yeah, and then what did you do? Did I do that? Yes, and then you went over there, look, now, if you remember, I think there was a cyclist coming down there. He, if he was going straight ahead, you would have took that cyclist out, wouldn't you? Have you got to put your car? So I'm going right. So you keep right? But what did I do? I did that. You did, you did this, look. Over here, and then went over there. <laughs> what did you do that for? Oh, explain this one. Dude, what are you doing? Operations Luca. Yes, in the roundabout. Yes. I thought you just nodded your head, but, but it was very far away. Very far away. Really? Now that's the roundabout. I was going left. You were going left there. There was a blue car here indicating right. Now, if it's in the right lane, what have you got to do? It was in the right lane because mm -hmm. I'm going in the left lane, so it's fine. No, it's not fine. What happens if the blue car goes down there? Where you're going? Oh. So you can't so go. So any car on either side, I can't go. Any cars here, you can't go. Did I do that, really? Yeah, you just pull up for the blue car, just come round the roundabout. <laughs> you can't go, do you agree? Sorry, Ken. So it's just like you see in here, look. Um, you were going left at the roundabout. Yes. Shoot. So you're going left. And then um, there was a car coming round here in the right lane. Here. Mm. And you see, you can pull out there. How would you work that up? You can't pull out there. Do you agree? So any car you can't pull out. No, no if they come round in the right lane. And what happened? Oh, you asked me to like um, pull up like, like this, you know? So yeah, you and you struggled with that, didn't you? Yeah, I was like... Why? I don't know. <laughs> so many times you don't do... I was like so scared what he's going to say now. Right, don't worry, I'm not worried about that. We can fix all that. Right, explain. Come to set of traffic oh, yeah. lights. What happened? Yeah, I just... I, I forgot. <laughs> you forgot what? I forgot. <laughs> this light was on red. Oh. I went from green. To go straight to ahead, green. where were we going? We were going right. So, that, yeah, the examiner would mark down on the sheet that he took physical action, yeah? Right. So how many times did I actually fail? Seven. You're not allowed any serious faults. <laughs> Jesus, I didn't expect that. You and what are these? Minor what? faults? Minor faults on that side. I'm going to take a picture. Oh, we've got some work to do before your test, haven't we? Dude. Right, how are we Let's see your home. Whoa. I don't want to do any more work today. Oh, I'm a few. So disappointed. You let me down, did you? I feel ill. And chocolate. Start the car, let's get home. Oh, oh. shit. Damn me. I made an effort to get your name, name right. And then you go and drive like that for me on the first mock test. You need so, you need to be tarred and feathered. Yes. I'm at the end of the road left. 
so intimidating. You don't even talk. And it's Sorry? Like, you don't talk. It's silence. I'm like. <laughs> you said you work better in silence? It was good. I was concentrating. Clearly, I was concentrating. <laughs>